Hey guys, well I'm back to the hunting grounds. We just got back from the ATA show. As you can tell, I might sound a little different because I have been sick the last few days. I guess it happens when you shake tens of, maybe even hundreds of hands or interact with people that much as we did at the ATA show. But I'm out here, exciting and big news. The loggers have been out here, they have cut the roads, they flagged my property lines, and should be starting next week. So I've got to, boy it's hard to talk. <laughs> but I've gotta get the four wheeler, and we're gonna go check out some of these roads. I am super pumped. All right, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm on the four-wheeler, so I'm gonna keep it running because the battery's not doing so hot. This is a main voyage. This is the first time on this logger. You can see where it's located at besides my house. It starts here by the power line. It's gonna go down in a very, very deep draw, one of the deepest and steepest draws on the property. There's never been access as far as getting an ATV or a vehicle down here whatsoever. They've now got a logging road cut all the way down in here, and we plan on putting a shooting range down here. So this is the main voyage on this road, and I am super excited about this spot because for since I bought this property, I had the dream to have a shooting range down here and have access down to this bottom in case deer ran down in here. And now it's going to open this bottom up too, so I can really hunt it a lot more. I've got an easy travel route in and out. If I kill a deer, uh, easy to drag it out now with the ATV. So here we go. All right, guys, I've just got to show you how cool this is. I am completely blown away. Oh, that is awesome. One of my little spring-fed waterfalls right up here. The road goes right up to it. It's a cleared lane all the way to it. This is going to be our shooting range down here, and I can see easily where we could put some shooting benches up here, and you're going to have easily, we might be able to get a 100-yard or more shot down here, which is perfect for sighting in our rifles. Uh, but, man, you can see how far down here we are and how steep it is. You can see up there, that's an extremely steep, seriously just a sheer drop off. And it looks like the road actually goes up and he comes up and it comes down and around. You can see how big some of these trees are down in here. They are just ginormous. He's done an excellent job of cutting my roads in here. And I'll tell you one thing I was super excited about. Last year, if you guys remember on an episode, I'll try to put a link up here in the corner. Uh, I cut down almost a hundred and 50 to like 200 blackjack trees up here on top of this hill that I was going to prescribe burn didn't get around to it and guess what this is the best fire break that you can ever have here so I can come through here and I can have this as my fire break and I can burn uphill and I can have it burn downhill so that's super exciting I'm already blown away this is only one road out of maybe three or four of my property 91 acres again but uh I am looking forward. This is going to change the whole way that we hunt this property and the deer move through this property and how much bedding and browse and everything that we have. This is going to change everything. Wow. I didn't know some of these trees were this big down here. They're massive. Two grown men couldn't bear hug around some of these trees. Very cool. so much mud stuck to my boots from walking around earlier but this is a place right here guys that uh, not a lot of people get to see on my property it's one of the most beautiful spots on my property you can see the creek is running down through here just beautifully and uh, now we have access to it which is crazy this was such a long hike down in here before um, but he's able to cut out the hillside up through here and we have tons of access down through here again it's just going to help me be able to come retrieve those deer a lot easier that come off these hillsides. It gives me great burn breaks. <sighs> Can't tell you how excited I am. I mean, look at that boulder right there. That's a huge boulder. It doesn't look very big on the screen, but absolutely a giant boulder down through there. Just sitting in the middle of this draw. Got a bunch of cliffs, bluffs, caves, a nice spring fed creek running all the way down through here. And it stretches almost a half a mile, probably at least on my property here. I'm so, so happy that this is finally all coming together. Sad that I got to leave uh, to go to Las Vegas for the SHOT Show while the, all this is starting, but uh, it's like a 
big old Christmas present every time I come back down here. It's got a little bit more open, so. All right, we have one really, really big road, supposedly, that's been opened up between Rock Top Ridge and the uh, the Turkey Ridge that's going to go down through the bottom. There's going to be, that's probably going to be the biggest change in the whole property because on top of Turkey Ridge is where we're going to clear, plant a food plot. On the side of it, we're hopefully going to clear cut and create a lot of bedding. And so they should have a road down through the bottom of it as well. And I'm interested to see what that's turned out to be like. So, all right, back on the muddy foiler. It's been raining and uh, this red clay nastiness is messy today on these new roads. Well here we go down the main voyage of the trail that I just told you guys about, the long trail. I'm interested to see how long they really actually were able to make this. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't go very far and it had to stop, but if they made it a lot further than I thought, then hats off to them, so here we go. They didn't make it as far as I was really hoping they would. They made it about as far as I expected them to make it. You can see it's still a long, long ways from up there at the top, but they made it right down here. It looks like, you know, the, the hills really start coming in together pretty steep through here. You got a spring coming out of the hillside here. Really cool, really beautiful here, but uh, it's a lot of timber, a lot of valuable timber up on these sides. I'm hoping that they're able to get somehow, so. Hopefully they can get some cables and stuff and they can drag them up through there and everything else they can fall down uh, in this valley and drag it out, so. Wow. They can sit down here for days and just listen to that water run. This will probably freak some of you guys out. The rest of you will understand. Here we go, Let's see. I'm gonna get up in there. It's hard. There you go. That's real Ozark water right there. Yeah. Guys, made it back to the house. I am so looking forward to all the progress that's gonna be happening on this property. I've gotta get ready to get out of here. Got to change out these muddy boots. I'm actually going to fly the drone a little bit, but you guys are going to see all that drone footage. You guys see that toilet? That's the old toilet that came out of my house. As you guys know, I'm remodeling the house inside, so it looks really cool too. Maybe one of these days, if you guys are really interested, I'll give you guys a tour of the house and show you some progress on the house building. Um, but guys, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure to go subscribe. Please comment down below. I love seeing you guys' comments. Give us a thumbs up, and until uh, next time, have a better average day. Don't you tickle